I'll do a few introductions before we head out today. But so first and foremost, this vessel that we will be travelling on. Now this vessel that we will be travelling on has got a beautiful Māori name, and the name is Paikia. And Paikia is an 18 metre long foil assisted catamaran, which is powered by two 715 horsepower MTU engines. And they are complemented by Hamilton jet units. So the reason we use jet units, because it's much quieter than propeller and it's more eco-friendly. Uh, we can be doing a cruising speed of around 20 knots today and a top speed anywhere between 25 to 30 knots. If you're not too uh, sure how fast that is, every one knot that we will do out here on the ocean will equate to around 1.8 kilometres per hour that you would do uh, on land. Uh, just a quick translation for those of you that didn't understand the word I just said. Simply, fast boat. Now in command of our fast boat we also have a very experienced captive uh, his name is Captain Rex, uh, Ara Kinui, seated in this chair behind me here. And Captain Rex, he is the holder of an offshore watchkeeper's ticket and he has many years experience out here on the waters of Kaikoura. So we are definitely in very safe and capable hands today. Uh, the man that you ought to briefly meet while boarding the vessel, his name is Matua. Or we just call him Manu. Yeah! yeah. It's me! Hey. And Manu, he will be the watchkeeper for the tour. So he's got a few very important jobs aboard our vessel. Uh, one, he'll be assisting the captain with anything that he may need, just watching out for anything of obstruction that may come across our vessel. But his number one job for today is that he will be the chief whale spotter. And so if we come home in a couple of hours completely devastated that we haven't seen anything at all, please don't take that up with me. Just remember that his name is Manu. And now down the back, the man that will be assisting you all inside the main cabin, his name is Te Pakihana. Uh, not many people can pronounce his name, so we just call him Paki. So he'll be this health and safety officer, uh, doing as the name suggests, looking after your health and your safety. So he'll be walking around inside, monitoring you, making sure that you're all comfortable in your seats. And while you're outside, just keeping a uh, keen eye on you, making sure that you're all safe out there as well. Kia ora katoa, ko te ohia tōku ingoa, my name is Te Ohia. Uh, not many people can pronounce that either, so you can all just call me Tio. And this is my job, I'll be the narrator for the talk, just keeping you up to date with uh, things that our captain tells us, and giving you a bit of information about what we're going out to do today, and also the marine life that we may encounter along the way. And I've just got a few very important uh, health and safety messages to go over with you all. But uh, first of all, if you haven't already, could you just buckle into those seatbelts so I can tell the captain that we can start heading out at full speed. Nice to see a few of you looking. And that's not to mock you in any way. It's just to make sure that you can all understand me and uh, that I'm not up here talking to myself. And I've seen all your teeth now, so I know that you are capable of putting on a smile, which is uh, awesome. But uh, yeah, that's just something to break the ice. And, uh, to my knowledge, you all would have viewed that health and safety video back at the main station. Is this correct? Yeah. Okay, so can anyone tell me where your life jacket is? Yeah. Underneath the seat. That is correct. So in the unlikely case of an emergency, all you have to do is reach underneath your seat. You will feel a quick release bar. You just have to uh, give that a wriggle, lift and drop that bar, and your life jacket will then be readily available for your use. You'll be familiar with two of our exits on board. Uh, you pass through the two of them up the front here. There's also one down the back. Now when these two front doors open, it's a good indication that you're welcome to head on outside. But as we are travelling out today, you all must remain inside and in your seats as well. There's a very good reason for this. We can be travelling up to 30 knots and we can stop in a matter of one boat length. Okay, so if you're standing up while this happens, you could go flying through the air quite similar to a bird. And before I help you up, I'll try my hardest not to smile as I'm doing it. And so please just remain in your seats. It's all for your own safety. Outside the back
on this whale folks, the Aki is preparing to dive. Got a lunge board, come up for one final breath of air, drop his dead, head down, arches back up, get your cameras ready and take your photos. Now. Beautiful tail shot from the Aki there. And with the showing of that tail, the Aki will not be back on the surface again for another 14 points until the day that they pass away. They do everything on the boat, including...
Dapat, dapat. 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 Dapat, dapat.